So that is like a really easy and effective way to try and get people to like your Instagram posts. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to another weekly tips video on content creation slash hacks slash tutorials. Those kinds of videos we like to do weekly and we're coming back with another weekly one all about Instagram stories. If you haven't checked out our last video, um, it was also about Instagram stories but more about separate apps that you can use in order to make your Instagram stories look really aesthetic and have really cool edits. So if you haven't checked out that video yet and you're interested in that, definitely check it out. This one today is going to be all about the Instagram secret hacks tips that are within the Instagram app. So things that you can do with your stories to make them look super cool all within Instagram. And if you haven't done so already, do hit that subscribe button for more good content just like this. Also, I am only one half of this channel, of course. We are a couple channel and we will be going traveling this year. So we will, we will have lots of travel videos and vlogs, good and helpful content like this, showing you tips, tricks, um, everything that we have learned while we have been content creators. So hit that subscribe button right now. Meh, 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 meh. What? So let's just jump right in. We're gonna go with five short little tips uh, that you can use to make your Instagram stories really good. All right, so we're gonna start with a really easy, really simple one. One that I have just kind of discovered and actually thought to myself, why did I not know this before? And it's a really easy way to include like really cool symbols or little boxes or shapes or things like that in your Instagram story. So let's jump right in. Let's pull up a picture um, as if we're about to post. And then if we go to the keyboard as if we are about to write something, uh, what you can do is when you press the symbol button on the bottom left, um, there's usually like two pages of symbols. So you'll notice you'll have to press the this button to bring up the next page and what you can do is you can use these symbols as like elements to your instagram story so for example if you wanted to put like a frame around something you could use this square change the color of it and then all you have to do is make that bigger and it becomes like a really cool frame or if you want it to have like a box that you could maybe write text in you can do the same thing but use the filled in square and there you have like just a box that you can write in like i did not know you could do this so easy oh there's also a little heart isn't that nice cute all right, so that is a really simple and easy tip. Moving on, let's look at some color options. So when you say write something, for example, or include a shape and you want to change the color of it, you can scroll across and see all of Instagram's color options, but that is not the full set. And I don't know why this is such a secret. I didn't know this for a long time, but what you can do is just hold on the color or any, any of the colors, just hold on it and the whole gradient comes up. So you can choose any shade of any color which is pretty cool. While we're on color, another thing that you can do is use like a gradient color. So if you're writing a sentence or a word, for example, let's just write yummy. All right, so what you do is you hold on that word so it, it's highlighted and then, so okay, so this takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of getting used to. It is a little difficult to begin with, but um, if you bring up the gradient, for example, use one finger to slide through the gradient and then you use the other finger to slide through the highlighted text, okay? So it's kind of difficult, but it's like this. So if I keep my finger here, I'm gonna put my other finger here and I'm gonna slide just like that and then you have your gradient word going from one color to another pretty cool all right tip number three really easy one a lot of you might know this already but we do get asked about this and it's how to make your pictures clickable in instagram stories you have your 
post on Instagram stories, something that you've just newly posted, for example, how can you actually click that and go right to the post? So easy. All you do is go to the actual post on your Instagram feed. You'll see this little paper um, airplane type symbol. All you do is click that and then go to add post to your story and then it pops up like this. You can also tab it so that you can see a little bit of the caption as well. Um, so it's your choice whether you want to include that or not. But that means that I can actually click on this post when it goes to my story and it will take me right to the original post with the full caption so that is like a really easy and effective way to try and get people to like your instagram posts also another tip that's kind of related to that as well is that you can have full colored background so all you do is go to your little drawing tool and then pick the color that you want and then all you do is hold and the whole background changes wow all right, let's try that with a picture. You'll see that color is on top, but the actual picture that you've already put on your Instagram story is behind it. So what I like to do is you can choose the eraser up on top and then you can scribble away some of that picture to reveal some of it. Ooh, cool. What's behind there? <laughs> Very cool. To finish off, tip number five is all about quality in Instagram stories. This is a very important tip that I have talked about before in the previous video, but we noticed before that we couldn't understand why we were having such bad quality issues with our Instagram stories. So we did a little, re little research, tried to figure out what was going on, and we figured out that if you record the video in the Instagram app, whatever you're trying to record, or even pictures as well, if you do that within the Instagram app it compresses the file and when you upload it it just really does not look good so what you do is to make that issue not an issue anymore you just record the video or take the picture in the camera within the phone so do that first and then upload it to instagram and the quality will be much much nicer you're welcome so there you have it guys five little tips and tricks to help you make better Instagram stories all within the Instagram app. No other apps necessary. There are so many, many tips and tricks and secrets that I will definitely share with you, but we'll just stick with five today. Maybe we'll do a part two and we'll get into lots more uh, little hacks for you. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure and use those little tricks when you're doing your Instagram stories. It will make you stand out from everybody else on Instagram. As always, make sure and hit that subscribe button for more good videos just like this. Uh, big travel videos coming soon, as I'm sure you know. So make sure and hit that subscribe and the notification bell too, because you will be uploaded. Er, uploaded. <laughs> you will be notified every time we upload. And as we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. Thank you.